I want to show you something that I think is really cool. It's how we transmit sound using light. All right, so here's everything you'll need to transmit sound using light. You'll need an audio jack that connects to your phone or device that has a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary plug, two 9 volt batteries, a breadboard, this is a half size breadboard, a 12 volt LED bulb, audio amplifier, and various jumper wires. There are female to alligator clip jumper wires. You'll also need some male to male jumper wires and male to alligator clip jumper wires. A small flathead screwdriver also comes in very handy. So here's how you put it all together. Starting with the audio amplifier, which will take sound from your device and amplify the electrical signal. You'll need four female to alligator clip jumper wires. Connect the red to the pin labeled VCC and the two middle pins, which are for your audio in, and finally the black wire, which connects to ground. When you're done, it should look like this. Big idea here is these two middle wires will be connected to your audio source and the outer two wires get connected to a nine volt battery. Next, let's connect the output terminals using male to male jumper wires. You may need your little screwdriver to loosen the screws. These wires will provide the amplified electrical signal to your light bulb. Next, we'll connect the light. Take your breadboard and plug the LED bulb into the positive and negative terminals on the labeled region on the breadboard like you see me doing in the video. Connect the black wire from the audio amplifier to the negative and the red wire to the positive. It should look like this. Next, connect two male to alligator clip jumper wires and plug the black wire into negative and red wire into positive. Now we're ready to test and ensure the system's working properly. Connect the red alligator clips to the positive end of a 9 volt battery, followed by the black alligator clip to the negative end. A small red LED should illuminate on the audio amplifier to indicate it as power. On the other side of your breadboard, connect the other red jumper wire to your positive and the black wire to your negative, which should cause your LED bulb to light up. Now, take the blue and white alligator clips and connect them to the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack like you see me doing here. Just make sure the alligator clips don't touch one another. At this point, if you play a song and plug in the cord, the LED should begin to pulse as the voltage varies due to the electrical signal. And if you happen to have a voltmeter handy, you can actually see this is true by hooking it up to your solar panel and pointing it at the light. The final step involves connecting the alligator clips from the solar panel to the auxiliary jack on a small powered speaker like you see here. The solar panel is going to convert light produced from the LED into an electrical signal that matches the original audio you're playing through your device. If you've made it this far, you've noticed the sound produced dissipates exponentially with distance from the LED. To fix this, you'll need to create this circuit, which uses a resistor and a cheap red laser diode. And from my messing around, I could easily transmit the sound all the way across my living room from my kitchen. And I'll bet that with a higher quality laser diode, I could transmit the sound even further. This was a really fun build, and I mean, I'm not somebody who's very familiar with circuitry, and if I can do it, I'm sure you can too.